Hey peeps, Jess here, and today I'm trying to answer the question, can a cookie be life-changing? Because today I'm trying out Janie's life-changing baked goods and their pie cookie. The idea is that it's all the components of a streusel pie, streusel topping, filling, and pie crust in one little cookie. I picked up a bunch of their stuff, the pie cookies, their regular cookies, and the pie bites, and I want to see if they are really life-changing. Let's try them. So this is the cherry pie cookie. It's one of their classic lineup, and it's had a few minutes in the oven at 350 degrees. And when I pulled them out, they just smelled like pie crust, like butter and sugar all caramelized. I do like that it's really dense, but I can see here it's softened up in the oven, which I appreciate. Cheers. This is quite tasty. Like it's a good little piece of pie, just handheld. The crumble on top, the streusel, has a really nice softness in the middle, but a nice crunch to the exterior. The streusel has a fair bit of butter. It's got a nice chewiness to it. The pie crust itself is nice and flaky and really buttery. And the filling has a nice cherry flavor. It's a little light though, but I think it's just getting lost by how much streusel there is on top. It's like eating cherry jam rather than eating whole cherries in pie filling, which makes total sense for transit. So I feel like this is one where I like the streusel, but I kind of want more of the pie crust and more of the filling and less of the streusel. So next we have the seasonal, which is the strawberry rhubarb. Got a little squished in transit, but the container was really cute and that happens. And I actually kind of like how it squished out the streusel a bit. I'm mainly smelling butter again. Cheers. The problem I'm really having is just I want more filling. The strawberry rhubarb is there as kind of a soft sweetness, but I'm not really getting the tart intensity I would expect, especially right now we're in the middle of strawberry rhubarb season. I just had strawberries arrive today that I cooked, and they are ridiculously ripe. So I would expect this to be similarly ripe and sweet and tart. The pie crust is solid. The crumbles are really fun to eat. It is like a miniature streusel pie. I'm just not getting enough filling. <laughs> like, where to go? Just in case, I want to try eating one of these cold. Cheers. Mm. So I definitely prefer texturally eating these warm. The crumbles are much harder at room temperature and the softness helps for me and my injured jaw. What's legitimately surprising though is I'm getting way more cherry flavor this time than I did the first round. What is going on? It actually has a fairly bold cherry jamminess to it. It's very nostalgic, almost like canned cherry pie filling, but still got a little bit more deepness, a little bit more density. It hits the right notes of nostalgia for cherry streusel pie. So why didn't I get that in the first one? So next we have the pie bites, which are just pieces of crust that have been swirled with cinnamon sugar and rolled up into tiny little snails and sliced out. They're basically palmier, if you've had them before, but instead of puff pastry, we've got pie crust. They smell of cinnamon sugar and butter. Cheers. If you had palmiers, you're probably gonna love these. There's a crispy flakiness to them and also high caramelization because the layers have been condensed so much with the cinnamon sugar, along with a really strong aroma of cinnamon sugar as you chew. Yeah, you're gonna eat all of these. I also love that there's variation. Some parts of the lamination is really tight and almost toffee-like, and then others are open and flaky and buttery, and that makes them even more fun to eat. Honestly, it's probably my favorite thing so far. I just really love palmier. They're one of my favorite snacks from being a kid, actually. And so having that, but in a pie crust form, is both really nostalgic and fun. I will say it tasted a bit dense, but that might be because they've been in transit for a week. I kind of wish these were bigger, actually. Not because the size isn't adorable, but because I could see it being really easy to finish off a bag. So if there was like one big one I could eat as a serving, that would be better for how I eat cookies. Last but not least is the half-baked chocolate chip cookie, which has two kinds of chocolate chips in it. I can already see the milk in the dark from here. Looks tasty. I did throw it in the oven for three minutes just to warm it up because since they were out so long, I wanted to make sure it had the best chance to shine. It smells of butter and chocolate. Cheers. It's got a nice crisp edge and a tender interior. Problem I'm having is the chocolate. It's very sweet and it's not a very strong chocolate note, actually. I feel really rude saying that, but there's so much chocolate in here and I'm barely tasting actually a chocolate note. It's not very dark chocolate. So for, I guess, someone who's more into sweeter chocolate, they'll taste enough chocolate. For me, I'm mainly getting sort of a sweet cocoa-ness along with the brown sugar and toffee notes. Also for me, it needs salt or something to make it pop because it's so sweet. So having some salt will at least enhance the chocolate a bit more. I think if you're looking for an elevated, say, Toll House cookie, a very nostalgic cookie with a soft center and crispy edges, this one would work really well. It's just that for me, because the chocolate's so sweet, I don't get to enjoy it as much personally. I'm definitely in for giving it a second try. I just really wish it had darker chocolate. So my thoughts. I think this is a really cute product. If you want to share a really cute cookie with friends or have a bit of pie as a snack in your lunch, this is adorable and just the right size for a little treat in your lunch, but not being a giant piece of pie. And it's way more portable than any streusel pie has ever been, and that's really cool. 
And I think also if you're just someone who's super team streusel, you're going to love these no matter what because it's basically streusel on a plate. It's really coming down to can you make pie <laughs> and do you want to make pie? Because I feel like I make as good a pie at home, but I don't really want to make streusel every day. Sometimes you just want to have a little bit of pie and this is just a little bit of pie and that's great. Also, I think it's $14 for a box of these. And so it's something where you wouldn't get it all the time. You might get it as a special occasion treat. They do often have coupons. I think I got mine for 30% off. So get on the mailing list if you're interested in them and save a fair bit of money. I think for me, I wouldn't mind trying these again, but I would focus on everything but the cookies. The cookies were just too sweet for me, but if I could see it again on sale, I'd be down for trying them again just because it's really cute. And sometimes you just want a tiny pie. But I would definitely ship it in like the winter or something. Trying to ship it in the summer was definitely scary, especially with how inconsistent our weather has been. So those are my thoughts on Janie's life-changing baked goods. Are you interested in trying them? I'd love to hear your thoughts or your favorite pie flavor down in the comments. If you need more pie-tastic content, I've got a whole video on pie for you right here. And with that, I'll catch you next time. Later!